We are still in the decade of the 1980s. And as you know, that era was a major rebirth of the entire skateboard industry. However, while Thrasher and Transworld magazines were rewriting and redefining the professional skateboard scene and market, there were not very many female professional skateboarders carried over from the 1970s. In fact, our next inductee had to compete against the guys in pool and vert contests because there simply were no other girls to make a category. She pretty much single-handedly held it down for the girls in skateboarding through most of the 80s. Her name is Kara Beth Burnside. Or CB to most of us. She also took the level of women's skateboarding up several notches by learning proper inverts, high airs, pretty much every trick in the book. Pretty much. She, she's a multiple X Games gold medalist invert as well as a gold medalist at the X Games in the half pipe and snowboarding. She has won over 16 professional competition titles including X Games, the Pro Tech Pool Party, the Vans Triple Crown, the Slam City Jam, and the Soul Bowl. She has destroyed so many barriers for professional women skateboarding. The list is way too long to read here, up here tonight. But I will say this, she is the first female skateboarder to have her own signature shoe. She's a good friend of mine, and I will never forget the time. And Tony, I think you might remember this. I'm gonna tell you a little story. Tony and I went to skate the basic bowl. I think it was in 95 or 96. I got there, the pool was tilted, all gnarly, upside down, kind of just oververt. Do you remember that? We were skating that? And CB shows up and just tears us apart. I'm like, she's doing inverts and super huge airs and all this stuff. And I'm like, Tony, do you realize this is the day that a girl is skateboarding better than us in a pool? I kid you not, that is the truth. And Tony looked at me and he said, no, she's not. No, she's not, DH. And he just proceeded to shred, I swear to God. It's true, true story. So to induct Kara Beth Burnside into the 2015 Skateboarding Hall of Fame, please help me welcome to the stage a man who really needs no introduction at all other than one of my all-time favorite skateboarders ever, the 2013 Hall of Famer, Mr. Christian Hosoy. Yeah, buddy. Love you. Love you, too. How you guys doing? Man, this is amazing. I mean, all the speeches are, are, are incredible. Uh, out, of out of this world, world some of them, right? <laughs> Henry, I love you. The shout out was amazing. Uh, CB, Carabeth Burnside called me. She said, Christian, love for you to introduce me. And I was like floored at first, because you know what? I love the girls. I love the, since the beginning. I love girls, but I also love girls skateboarding, okay? Slow it down, slow it down. My wife's there. Babe, I love you. You're the only one. But since the beginning, I met Kara Beth at Marina Del Rey Skate Park. And I mean, we were what, 12, 12 years old? And she was already ripping. And I just be, remember being so intimidated, just like DH and TA were when they saw her, because it was like so insane to actually watch a girl, because I grew up in Marina, there was girls, I grew up, girls were there, all the girls were there, ripping. And I was like, these girls are shredding, but then Kara Beth came in, and she was like doing tricks, like he said, proper. Backside airs, better than a lot of you guys in this room, okay? And you guys are like pros, right? And, and for me, this little guy, I was like so inspired by a girl that shredded so hard that it, it made me just like be stoked to skateboard. She did not just inspire girls to skateboard, but she inspired the guys because she made us like really 
get threatened because she was doing everything proper. I remember going to Lakewood Skate Park and I sat there looking at the half pipe. You know, you come, you're from your home park, you go to some other people's home park, you're like, okay, I gotta come and I gotta warm up, got a contest. And she's over there just sweepers, front side air, tuck knee, I mean, inverts, and I'm like, whoa, this girl is blowing my mind. This is what, 1980? 81? I mean, this is, what, 35 years ago. Some of you 35-year-olds in here weren't even born yet, right? And CB was shredding. She's a, not only shredded in skateboarding, but she shredded in snowboarding as well. Come on, right? She's multi-talented. She's not only shredded it, but she's got gold medal. She, she placed fourth place in the Olympics. Come on, give it up. Come on. This is heavy duty stuff right here. And she's been sponsored by the best companies. She's not only been, you know, a great skateboarder, but she's been a great ambassador for the ladies. She's now doing hoopla skateboards with Mimi. I know Mimi's here somewhere. Hey Mimi. And you know, they support girl skateboarders 100%. I support girl skateboarders 100%. And, and I love when they get props. I love when there's, there's their highlighted vans. They, they have their own contest over there, the girls. And to me, they deserve that. And it's all because of girls like Robin Logan, right? Right? Laura Thornhill. But then CB came around and took the baton and really took it to the next level. Come on, right? She took the maneuvers to the next level, and not only that, she did it for a long time. Some, some people come in and they just burn out quick. Kara Beth, you heard Dave say all the contests she's won. She's won more contests than some of the Hall of Famers, you know, but her heart is so passionate and tender. I get to talk to her all the time. We have a special relationship. We've known each other forever. And she, she'll cry when it comes to certain things, especially tonight. She was like so nervous. But yet, I told her, I'm so proud of you. And she smiled big. And I saw just, you know, the, the, the confidence being built back up. So I want all you guys to, to, to welcome CB to the stage, but, but let me tell you, CB, here's what else she's got. She, she's earned a degree in college, things you don't know she talked to me about. She's got a degree in college. She loves to ride horses to relax. She wants, I mean, get this, it's not Kara anymore, it's CB. So let's welcome CB to the stage. CB, where are you at? Come on, Kara Beth. Yeah, CB. Thank you, Christian. It means a lot to me that you're up here talking for me. You've been such a great supporter for me from the time we've always met. And, uh, you know, for a guy to support a girl and, you know, just be a man and just can give a girl a compliment and say, damn, girl, you're doing something I can't do. And you just, you just been a really special person in skateboarding for me, and I appreciate that. And uh, it, it was hard sometimes, but it's always been awesome to have a lot of the guys have my back for so many years because I skate because I love to skate, and that's the only reason. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Take the stage. <laughs> um, oh, God. Uh, this is just such an awesome honor to be a part of this whole group and be awarded this. 
I found skateboarding when I was maybe 10 years old, and uh, I loved it, but no girls ever were skating um, until I was skating at a roller rink and Big O Skate Park opened and there was having a grand opening and there were some girls there shredding and doing frontside grinds and keyholes and I was, what is going on? I ditched those roller skates and the next day got a skateboard. <laughs> um, I just really know how important it is for girls to have role models and see other girls do something that they want to do too. And it's skateboarding and it's not just for guys because girls can do it and we've all seen that. And uh, you know, I have to say my parents were very supportive growing up and my mom couldn't be here because she had another obligation, but uh, my dad bought me the summer pass at Big O Skate Park and I was there every day. Like, you could not get me to go home. And you know, it was a great thing to have your parents behind you. And, you know, from there I met Dwayne Peters and he instilled in me the crazy skate, you do or die, you skate or die, and you take the slam and you get up and you do it, girl. And Dwayne, I love you for that. He was constantly there supporting me and always treating me like a princess, but making me skate hard and just you know, hold it down and, and not be crying about anything. And I have that Dwayne Peters in me for life. And uh, <laughs> um, thank you, Dwayne. Um, you know, um, another person when I was skating Big O, I met Gail Webb, s skateboarding mom. We all know who she is, you know, get high on sports, not not drugs, and I did tons of demos for Gail a long time, um, along with Vans, and supporting me, and making a, a little bit of money at these demos, so thank you, Gail, for just, she just supported me and made me feel okay for skating, because after the girls stopped skating, there wasn't anybody skating, and I was on my own, the only girl for a long time, and it was hard, but, I love skateboarding and I didn't, I just skated. I was just, you know, so there's, you know, just being able to go do a demo and make some money and then Steve Van Doren's always there and throwing me some extra cash because he helped me out for a long time. Thank you, Steve Van Doren. Um, uh, the skate parks closed, a lot of you know, because uh, they got sued and they couldn't keep afloat because people would sue them because their kid broke their arm and or they closed Shop because they didn't want to get sued and I went to school at UC Davis and I started skating when I found a guy some guys that were skating some quarter pipes and ramps and it was awesome and I was like I'm I'm skating full-time I live up by Lake Tahoe and then I got into snowboarding and I was able to snowboard and make a living because I wanted to skate, but it was just really hard for me to be a pro skater and I couldn't do what the guys were doing as far as travel goes and that's what I wanted to do. So I even competed with the guys for a while just to push my own levels because I didn't have any other girls pushing me. I just pushed myself just for the love of what I love to do. And um, yeah. Um, I got into snowboarding and I just thought, man, I'm going to make some money snowboarding so I can go skate, you know? <laughs> so, uh, me and Jen O'Brien had a joke about it for a long time, like, you know, we were going to make a video and we'd be driving down the road and chuck the snowboarding stuff out the door, like, as we are driving down the mountain, but, uh, it was cool when I met, uh, Jen O'Brien and Jody McDonald, because they were my posse for a long time, and, and you, you guys know, we rolled around together, and, you know, I had my sponsors here and there, and Vans was always backing me up, and, you know, if I ever needed a little help here and there, before I even had a shoe, Steve Van Doren was always there to, 
you know, help me out, you know. It was really cool that he uh, supported me and, you know, I didn't have any money. I just made it happen in snowboarding because I wanted to skate. And uh, I thank all my sponsors. Um, sorry, I'm getting a little emotional, but I love skateboarding. Um, um, uh, you know, uh, I, I, for a short minute, I rode for Think Skateboards, and Don Fisher supported me a lot, and I really liked that. I was very awesome. And, uh, and then also Michael Furukawa at Skate One also s hooked me up for, uh, with whatever I needed. And, uh, you know, um, there was all these other contests that started with All Girls Skate Jam. And I was good friends with, I am good friends with Patty Segovia, who started All Girls Skate Jam in 1997. And that started a whole big thing of girls. So it didn't just start recently. It's been going since then. And Patty had, at that point, been a big supporter for me. And really, you know, being by yourself, skating all the time is like you need backup, you know? So she's, she was some good backup. She'd take photos. She has a million and trillion photos of me. And just give me the support I need to just, Get in there, go skate that demo with those guys. Like, I do it, you know, because I wanted to be in there with the guys. I, I, I just wanted to skate. I love skateboarding. And uh, yeah, I just also want to thank, um, you know, being able to meet uh, Mimi Noop. She came into the picture years later when I was getting a little burned out. And um, it was awesome. She just started, you know, holding her own and showing me that she had the power to really do some awesome tricks and skate longer than me. And I was like, wait, nobody skates longer than me. Why is she still skating? You know? And so like Mimi has just had my back for so many years and we're best friends and we do a lot together. We do the Action Sports Alliance, which is a nonprofit organization for the girls skateboarders um, that just does things that empower the girls and help make sure the girls are getting what they need in certain events. And uh, I'm just so glad Mimi came along and she just gave me that second win that I needed um, to keep skating and uh, keep it going because we all need those kind of people in our lives to just push you to another level of doing what you need to do, you know? And I appreciate that so much. And the, you know, and just going skating and being with the guys and always seeing Christian and Dwayne and just having the guys, skating with the guys and having positive backup and Dave, like, it's just awesome. And I appreciate you guys throughout the years just being so cool with the girls and not just me, but other girls as well. And, you know, Vans has been, I had a shoe for quite a few years and that was just an amazing opportunity and uh yeah we and then uh back to the girls of the future they are ripping and uh we have hoopla skateboards that uh michael furukawa thank you so much from skate one said you can start your own company here from skate one and i made mimi a partner with me because i didn't want to do it by myself and it's been going now for I don't know, six years, and George Pal is totally behind it, and we just love the opportunity to help the girls of the future get up there and just do amazing things that I never thought I'd see girls do, and, and I'm so proud to be a part of it and a part of skateboarding today, and um, yeah, thank you so much. I love skateboarding, and I always will. Give it up for CB!